Thanks, Todd. Why do you look familiar? I, I, I don't know. I think this is the wrong way, but I think you were in my dream. Yeah, I get that a lot. What are you talking about? You get that a lot. I have a gift. What kind of gift? A mental gift. Well, you got like autism or something? No, it's special. People say I can see the past, the future, all of time. I had my dream last night. Possible future, like if I die or something. That's weird. You do look familiar. It's really windy out here. You want to go inside my house? Get you something to eat if you want. Come on. I got you some water. <laughs> got TV if you want to watch it, but I suggest we get down to what we were talking about at the street. So, tell me exactly your past. Like, what people say, like, you see features or something? Well, ever since I was a child, I was in a traumatic accident. And since after that traumatic accident, I've just seen things. And things I've seen have happened. Traumatic accident? I was in a car accident with my parents when I was about 12. Okay. And so that qualifies and makes you see things? I don't know what happened. I barely survived. And when I came back, I just saw things. I started to see other people's futures different scenarios and what could happen. So why would I have... Most of the time, what I see leads up to a person's death. So the death I, that occurred to me in my dream, is that real? It depends if you follow the exact scenario that I saw. Well, if this is in the future for me, then how could I know? Like right now, I'm in the past of my death, obviously. I'm not alive right now. Well, and I don't want to die, so... We'll just have to find out if what I saw is exactly what you did today. Um, Even the smallest So you thing. told me, like, there's five scenarios? That there could be situations, I scenarios saw. of death for me. I saw five situations, all with different variables. And they're the smallest things? Only one of them you died in. Oh. So, is that something that happens today, or do we have to go super far in the future? Or is it like super close to this time period right now? It's very close to right. that. It's almost tomorrow. So I'm going to die tomorrow. In my dream, I died in my sleep. So... Whatever you do tomorrow will affect how you die. In my sleep? Could be. Well, how can you help me? I need you to go through your routine tomorrow. And if it matches up with what I saw. Okay. So... Tomorrow I'll be doing the same thing I do every Monday morning for work. I'll be getting up, 
6 o'clock for my alarm. I'll get up, eat breakfast, brush my teeth, get in the shower, when I get out of the shower, wash my hands, get in the car, and go to work. Then, do work all day at the construction site. And then when I'm done with that, at about 3.30, I'll get back home and, I don't know, hang out with my family. And then when I'm done with that, I'll go back to bed around 10. And before you go back to bed, I will meet you. Okay, so what if I die before that? Or I don't know, do I have to die in my sleep? So I cope. The only scenarios I've seen involve death. In sleep. In sleep. I see things. So you... Okay. Well, thanks, Todd. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Oh, my God. Is that Todd when Todd is supposed to be here? It's almost time for bed. I guess we'll just wait. Hello? Alright, come on in. Hello, Philip. How you doing, Tom? Fine. You can take a seat on the bed if you want. So, did you go through your routine today, Flint Man? Yep. Alright. Are you ready for me to ask you the questions? Yeah. Let's start off in the first scenario. Okay. When you woke up in the morning, what is the first thing you did? I brushed my teeth. Brussels, white, steak. Okay. And what kind of toothpaste did you use? Colgate? What does this matter? I need to know all the small facts. Right. So while you were brushing your teeth, did you look at yourself in the mirror? Sure. Yeah, I did. When you looked at yourself, was there a black spot on your cheek? I don't know, I wasn't barely paying attention to my cheek. It's very important that you try really hard to remember. The black spot in your cheek. That only means one thing. What? You're in the second scenario. Oh. After brushing your teeth, what did you do? I left and ate breakfast. What kind of breakfast did you eat? Special K. What do you see at the breakfast? A spoon and a bowl. What color is the bowl? It's white with the stripes on it. Mm -hmm. Oh my. It's all lining up so far. For 
two. Yes. All right. So, after you made your breakfast, what did you do? Got in the car and went to work. While you were driving, did you look at your dashboard and see anything unusual? Actually, yeah. I looked at the dashboard and I noticed the air freshener that I usually hang up on the rearview mirror fell onto the dashboard. You got home from work. What was the first thing you did? Took off my jacket and watched TV. you hang your jacket? In the hallway like usual. What were you watching? I don't really remember, I think news. As well, it started out in the 40s this morning, and we've fallen through the 30s and already into the 20s. Is this all for scenario two? Now you're in scenario three. Where did it stop? Scenario two. You walked in, you hung your coat up. Instead of walking and turning on the news, you heard a thump outside. But you didn't hear a thump outside. No. You never questioned me if I heard a thump outside. Well, I was waiting to see if, that, if you watched the news or not. So. So in scenario three, I watched the news? Yes. After watching the news, what did you do? to this moment, and that was my whole time when you, you weren't here. Oh no. Please tell me, when you were eating breakfast in the morning, was your spoon silver, or did it have a white handle? Lines up. Scenario three is the one. You go to bed tonight, and as you're sleeping, somebody breaks into your house. Wait, did you even test scenario four or five? I did, but none of them lined up. The only way those two could have lined up is if when you got up, you, you woke up in the middle of the night, and you walked outside, and you realized that the, the light was on. So you turn off the light, and when you walk back in your bedroom, you notice your window's open, so you shut it. But I can't test that. And this is all tonight. Can't you, like, time travel in the future and, like, check it out? I could try, but I just, it's impossible to know. So, it's scenario three. Do I die in it? You will, unless you follow the events of scenario four or five. Going outside, shutting the light, and then... If you turn off the light, if you close your window, in scenario four, you survive. In scenario five, you wake up in the middle of the night, the same way, but instead of turning off the light, you walk in, and you have some chips. You eat, and you hear a noise in your bedroom. And then, I can't say any more. So how do I die in scenario three? Scenario three, you get shot in your sleep. So that's tonight? Unless something changes, 
you're going to either die tonight or you're going to survive tonight. So what do you think I should do? So tonight, I think that I should sit outside and keep an eye out. And I want you to take this gun and do what I tell you. This thing is loaded. Safety's not. But when it comes to tonight, I want you to turn off the safety and keep it in your hands. Okay. So you'll be outside tonight? I'll be outside watching. I'll keep you informed. Okay. Alright. Oh, good night. Here's your cell phone. It's on again. Just like Tom said. coming in. Okay, he's coming in. You want me to grab the gun? Alright. 